Tonight, rescue crews are searching for 80-year-old Daz Eddy, a decorated mountaineer who went missing after embarking on Mount Rainier alone seven days ago. And crews have been scouring the mountain since June 1st. Tonight, an unresponsive climber has been located in a crevasse on the southeast side of the mountain, but still no word if that's Eddy. Or Jordan Smith joins us in studio tonight. Jordan, with more on this search and rescue, what have we learned about his ascent? Well, at home, first of all, it might sound crazy to hear that an 80 year old man is ascending the most difficult climb in Washington alone. But Eddie is a decorated mountaineer. At one point, he was the oldest man to ever climb Mount Everest at 66, and this was his 50th ascent on Mount Rainier. Since Thursday, crews have been tirelessly searching for Dawes Eddie, who began his climb of Mount Rainier one week ago. Eddie said his plan was to return on May 31st. His absence prompting the search and worry. Don't make me get emotional. It's really bad. Dennis Stockton is Eddie's neighbor, no, who sees the 80-year-old constantly jogging, yeah. loading up the boat, and taking off for the mountains. This trip to Rainier, just another hike. He likes a real challenge. He doesn't like to do easy hikes or anything like that. He wants to be a, you know, a pretty difficult climb, or he doesn't not and not interested. The weather conditions on Wednesday were nothing out of the ordinary. The National Weather Service reporting some cloud coverage and the freezing level at 7,000 feet. Certainly nothing Eddie hasn't seen in the previous 49 ascents of the mountain. His experience also justifies this solo climb. 14 years ago, he took on Everest, balancing over crevasses and along narrow passageways on his way to the summit, setting a world record as the oldest man to make it to the peak. I satisfied myself as to what I was capable of. And I'm, I'm just, you know, real happy to have done it, and I'm uh, just as happy to be back. Though every decorated career comes with a set of challenges. For Eddie, those have come in recent months, most recently being airlifted off of a California mountain after a serious fall. Yeah, last year they had to, uh, they had to airlift him off a mountain. He, got, he fell, tripped, busted himself up pretty good, hit his head, knocked some teeth out, I think, scarred up his face. And, but... You know, he was right back at it as soon as he could. Eddie is a beloved cornerstone of this community, and friends and family are holding their breath as they wait for news. Of course, we're all still hoping, so we'll uh, hopefully we get some good news here soon. And we are all hoping for the best here as well. And in the meantime, if you plan any backcountry adventures or hikes this summer, make sure tell someone where you're going and when you expect to be back. Know your limits and pack a day pack with you with some extra protein bars, some water, and an extra layer just in case. And we'll keep an eye on this story as we learn more. For now in studio, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now. Jordan, thank you.